Today's read aloud is called Momotaro Peach Boy, and this is another folktale. Remember, folktales are generally oral stories, so they're told by mouth. They are often passed from generation to generation, and they are fiction, which means they are make-believe. They didn't really happen. In the folktale that you're going to hear today, there is a hero. A hero can be the main character in a story. A hero can also be someone in real life. A hero is someone who does something brave or generous for others. In real life, heroes may include firefighters, doctors, teachers, or family members. You might have a hero. The folktale that you hear that you're going to hear today comes from the country of Japan. So the setting of today's folktale is Japan. But before we get started, let's go over some vocabulary. Our first word is pheasant. Say pheasant. A pheasant is a type of bird with a long, colorful tail. And our last word is swooped. Say swoop. Swooped means flew down quickly in a curving motion. So we said that this folktale is set in the country of Japan. So this circle right here shows you where Japan is. Momotaro Peach Boy. I want you to listen carefully to find out how Momotaro is a hero. Once upon a time, in a small village in the country of Japan, there lived a kind old man and his good, honest wife. One fine morning, the old man went to the hills to cut firewood, while his wife went down to the river to wash clothes. The old woman was scrub, scrub, scrubbing the clothes on a stone when something strange came floating down the river. It was a peach, a very big, round peach. She picked it up, oof, and carried it home with her, thinking that she and her husband could eat it when he returned. The old man soon came down from the hills, and the old woman set the peach before him. The peach began to shake and wobble the table. As the old man and woman looked on in amazement, the peach split apart, and out came a baby boy. The old man and woman took care of the baby. They were kind to him and raised him as their own son. They called him Mamataro, a fine name as it means peach boy. Mamataro grew up to be strong and brave, which was a good thing for the village because for many years the villagers had been bothered by the Ani, who were greedy monsters who stole things from the villagers. Remember, monsters are made up and are not real. This story is just pretend. Everyone in the village wished that the Ani would stop bothering the village. One day, when Momotaro had grown to be a young man, he said to his parents, I'm going to the island of the Ani who steal from our village. An island is a piece of land surrounded by water. I will bring back what they have stolen and stop them from harming us ever again. Please make some millet cakes for me to take along on my journey. Millet cakes are cakes made from a type of seed called millet. The old man and woman were worried, but they made the millet cakes for Momotaro, and so he started on his way. He had not gone far when he met a dog. Where are you going, Momotaro? asked the dog. I'm going to the island of the Ani to bring back what they have stolen from my village, said Momotaro. And what are you carrying in that sack? asked the dog. I'm carrying the best millet cakes in all Japan, said Momotaro. Would you like one? Mmm, yes, said the dog. And I will come with you to the island of the Ani. I will help you. The dog ate the millet cake. Then he and Momotaro walked on. They soon met a monkey. Where are you going, Momotaro? asked the monkey. 
I'm going to the island of the Ani to bring back what they have stolen from my village, said Momotaro. I will come with you, said the monkey, and Momotaro thanked him and gave him a millet cake. Now the three of them walked along when soon they heard a call. Momotaro, Momotaro, where are you going? Momotaro looked around to see who was calling. A big pheasant flew out of a field and landed at his feet. A pheasant is a bird with long, colorful tail. Mama Taro told him that he and his new friends were going to the island of the Ani. Then I will come with you and help you, said the pheasant. Mama Taro thanked him and gave him a millet cake. So Mama Taro went on his way with the dog, the monkey, and the pheasant, following close behind. They soon came to the island of the Ani. The Ani lived in a big stone castle. The pheasant flew over the high castle walls. He swooped down and flew back and forth so fast that it scared the Ani. The pheasant flew down quickly in a curving motion. The Ani shouted and screamed and ran about in confusion. Just then, Momotaro, with the help of the dog and monkey, broke through the gate of the castle. Oh, what a scene! The dog and monkey ran about the legs of the Ani, which tripped them up so much they had trouble standing. Momotaro ran left and right, waving his staff or walking stick. Many of the Ani ran away, and soon it was just Momotaro and the Ani king. Momotaro ordered the Ani king to collect all the treasures the Ani had stolen. Momotaro and his friends gazed in amazement at the beautiful gowns and jewels and gold and silver that had been stolen from the village over the years. And so, Momotaro took all the riches back to the village. The village was never again bothered by the Ani, and Momotaro and the old man and the old woman lived in peace and plenty for the rest of their lives. So Momotaro was definitely hero and he saved his village from the Ani. That was the end of the story. Go ahead and answer the questions boys and girls.